What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute deep stretch for your hips and your lower back. So grab your mat and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 20 minute stretch for your hips and your lower back. I'm so glad you're here today. So glad you took the time to be here. Everyone needs loosening up in their hips, right? We sit so much, we drive, we sit at work all day. So hips and lower back are gonna be our main focus today. We're gonna to be spending most of our time on the mat. So make sure you have space around you, okay? And we're gonna get started with a nice wide stance. Okay, so let's place your hands on your hips or right around your lower back. And as you exhale, I just want you to breathe in and push forward, two, one, and push your hips forward towards me. Just some light pressure. And come back up. We're gonna take about five second intervals here. Push forward. And back up, good. Push forward. Do two more. Push, push, push. Good. One more. Push, push, push. Pull your abs in. Two, one, and come back to neutral. Now let's cross your left leg over top your right leg and reach away from it. Okay, so we're reaching over to the left. All right, you should feel a nice long stretch here in your hips, in your external obliques. You can place your hand here on your leg or on your hip. So as we work on loosening up your hips, we're definitely gonna work on the muscles around your hips and around your lower back as well. Everything is all intertwined and connected as far as our muscles go. Good, come back up, let's switch over. Okay, so cross the right leg over. Let's reach over to the right. Letting your hips shoot out as far as you can. Breathe, keeping your chest nice and open for this one. You should feel that stretch again all right in here around your hip and your external oblique. Great job. Let's switch it over and do one more time each side. So cross it over. Raise your hand right up over your head beside your ear and reach over. Again, pushing your hip away from your fingertips. Good job. By crossing your feet over, you get this angle from your toe on the ground to your fingertips that's just a little bit deeper than if you were standing straight up. So that's why I've got your back leg reaching out to the other side. And come back and let's switch over. Okay, cross right over left. Reach it to the right. Oh, already feels so much better. Anyone else? Love this stretch. Great job. And as you know, I'm sure you know, your hips and your lower back are so closely tied together that this stretch is gonna benefit both of them and your posture and the way that you sleep. Two, one, and rest. Now let's open up your feet. Okay, nice and wide stance. Toes are pointed just a little bit out, so about 45 degrees out. Take that hand up to the side, and I want you to slide down your leg with your other hand. Again, keep that open chest for now. Reach, reach, reach up and over. Now take that same hand and reach down towards your toe. So we should switch into the lower back feeling here. Good. We're going for that big arch angle again. So reaching up and then arching over here gets that lower back to stretch out. Good, slowly come back to the middle, make your way up, and let's just arch over top again. So slide your hand down, 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 reaching over. Good, you're supporting yourself here with this bottom foot and your hand on your leg. 
good. Push your hip forward just a little bit more. Two, one, and take that hand and reach down towards your toe. Okay, good. Again, you should feel this in the low back. Take your time here. You reach. You can really angle your chest whatever way you feel it best in your lower back. Great job. Now let's walk your hands into the middle of your feet. Keep your feet right where they are and I want you to grab onto your elbows and just totally relax your spine. You can put a soft bend in your knees. You don't have to have them locked out. Just a little relaxed bend. Not a squat, just make sure they're not locked. I want you to work on releasing your head, your neck, your shoulders. And just opening up your spine here for just a second. Two more big deep breaths in. And one more. Exhale and let's walk your hands over to the right side. Straighten your left leg and drop down into your right leg. Okay, and I want you to really push your hips backwards, okay? So another muscle that ties in closely to the hips is your adductor or your inner thigh muscle. Okay, you can point your toe up here on the side. And really sit back in this hip and this adductor. Got your hands there to support you. If you can, you can go down a little deeper. If not, stay right on your hands. Just feel that deep, deep stretch. Great job, keep your breathing going. And then walk your hands back in. Let's push into the floor and lift your hips up and over to the other side, okay? Bending right here on this leg. Toe points up here on the other side and you're sinking back and down. If you can go down, go down. If you need to stay here and that pushes that stretch here, then stay right here. Good. And maybe you'll find as you start sitting here, you'll get a little looser and you can drop a little lower. Whatever it takes for you, go right there. Good. Keep breathing. You're doing great. Good. Bring your hands back to the mat. Let's press back up into the middle and now dropping down onto your knees. Okay? I'm going to stay facing you. Place your hands right in front of your knees and let's walk your knees out as far as you can. Okay? Feet can be connected right behind you. Okay? So make sure you've got a, stop, a soft spot on your mat. And I just want you to work on sitting here. All right, just stay seated. If you can't stay seated and you're a little bit higher, that's okay. Just work on pushing down your hips down into the mat. Good, you'll start to feel them relax a little bit. A little bit, this is a tough position, I know. But this works on those deep hip muscles, so right around your hip bone, you'll feel it very tight probably. If you need some support, again, put your hand down, that's okay. Force your hips down to the floor. There you go. Let's hold here for about 10 more seconds. Good, three, two, one, and bring your hands back to the floor. Good job. And let's switch into hip flexor mode. So taking your right leg up, right outside your right hand, let's push it forward. Okay, and then I want you to open that arm up. Okay, so you're really dropping your hips from both of them facing the floor to that back leg hip really facing the floor. Okay, you're rotating it down a little bit more. And again, you can support yourself with your hand here, or if you feel okay, you can go down to your elbow. Or you're 
really opening up your hips here to face this front bent leg. Great job. Now bring your hand down and place both hands or both elbows, if you can, down on the mat and let's face your hips back towards the mat. Good job, good job. All right, let's open up again. Open your hand up and then rotate your hips to face your front leg. Good job. Just hits the hips in a little bit different um, angle. There we go. Open, open, open. And if you're not comfortable with your elbow, again, just come up onto your hand, rotating those hips to face a little more forward. And drop back down, both hips facing the mat. Great job. Hopefully you feel yourself getting a little bit deeper each round. Each time we open up and each time we drop back down to the floor. And good. All right, let's come back up slowly. Okay, and switch legs here. All right, so other foot is up top. Let's start first with just pushing your hips forward. Okay, open that top arm up to the sky and if you feel comfortable, drop to your elbow, open it up to the sky. And then we're shifting your hips to face that front leg. Great job. Keep that hip flexor pushing towards the ground or your hip pushing towards the ground. And drop your arm down, elbow or hand. Both hips are back towards the mat. There you go. One side might be a little tighter than the other one, that's okay. I feel the same way most people do. Just work a little bit more on that one. Have a little bit more patience with that side and push yourself a little bit deeper on that side. And let's open it back up. Open your hip and your arm. There we go. Keep breathing, stay calm and focused here. And bring it back down to the mat, good job. Hips are facing the floor. Good work, keep that deep breathing going, okay? All right, bring both your hands back in, press into the mat, and let's return both knees back together, okay? Keeping your hips right where they are, I want you to tuck your left arm under your body and drop that shoulder down to the mat. So we're getting a little rotation here, and you should feel that stretch all along the left side of your back and your chest or your ribs, I should say. <laughs> so use this right arm to really press into the floor. Good job. All right, return back to the top and let's switch sides. So take the right arm, shoot it under your body, drop that shoulder down and use your left arm to press into the floor. Great job. Big deep breath in. Exhale, push back up to tabletop position and let's drop both hips down now. I want you to open up your knees just a little bit wider than normal. Okay, so your feet are kind of spread out to the sides here. And press those hips down, press your chest up. Great 
Great job. Relax, lower your chest to the ground. And by the way, if you can't use your hands and you're just at the place where you can use elbows only, that's okay. Go right there. If you can, come up with your hands and press away. Everyone is at a different level as far as flexibility, mobility. That's totally okay. That's totally expected. What I want out of you today is to push yourself wherever you are. Great job. And let's shift your shoulders just a little bit while you're here. So turn it over to the left and to the right. Just think about the shoulders. They turn over and over. Great job. All right, let's come back onto all fours and actually flip down onto your glutes. Okay, soles of your feet are together. And these are some of my very favorite lower back stretches. Okay, so soles of your feet are together. First of all, I want you to grab onto your toes with both hands. Okay, releasing your left hand. I want you to go up beside your ear and then over in front of your shin. So straight out from your shin. You should feel that stretch right down in your lower back. Good. And for everyone, the angle is different. Okay, some people might feel a little better back here. Some people might feel it a little more here in the front. Wherever you can go with your hand on this side of your body to really hit that lower back, that mid to lower back area, go there. And let's return back to the center. Good job. Take that other arm, right arm, right up beside your head. Arch it over to your shin, right out from your shin. Okay, or again, if you feel it better in the front or more over to the side, just go right there, wherever you feel it best. Keeping both of your sit bones down on the ground. And what I mean by that is some people can stretch and they'll feel, <laughs> they'll feel like they have to go way over to the side here. I want both of your, your glutes to stay on the floor. Great job. Keep reaching over. And let's switch it over again. Left arm up beside your bicep, beside your ear. Bring it over and reach. Let's go a little further now. Reach a little further with your fingertips. Now that you know the position that feels the best for you, reach a little further. Keep breathing. Good, a little bit further. Nice job, and let's bring that hand back to the toe and just switch and slide right over into that other side. Good, now a little bit further, reach a little further out. It's okay if your back is rounded for this one. We want that stretch in your low back, in your mid to low back. You should feel it all along the side of your spine, over on this side, the stretch side. And now come right into the center. I want you to bring both hands to your toes and just arch over, let your head fall. And we're all at different levels, but just totally relax your head, relax your arms, just let them fall. Good, all right. One more position. Let's come back to your glutes and crisscross your ankle over your knee. And I want you to press that leg up towards your chest and then actually take your hand and cross it over, really hugging that bent knee to your chest. Okay, so you're kind of wrapping it around the outside, pulling it in and twisting, okay? You should feel this really deep in the glutes, hips area, and low back. Good, now let's look away just a little bit more, keep hugging. And let's switch legs. 
Okay, I'll flip over to this side, but just switch your legs. Okay, so my right leg is up here. I'm gonna take my opposite arm, wrap it around this leg, pull it into me, and twist. Great job. There you go. Got about 10 more seconds to hold here. Bring it in a little closer, knee to chest, nice tall spine, twist over, almost there. And release, and we're gonna come up slowly together. So just release your legs first, okay? Flip over onto your hands and knees, hands into the mat. I want you to press here as you lift your hips. Okay, slowly, very teeny tiny steps, walk back into your toes. Get a little hamstring stretch in here. Grab onto your elbows. One vertebrae at a time with the soft bent knee. Roll it up, nice and slow. All right, and you have made it through your hips and low back stretch. Guys, I hope you feel so much better. Just in this lower back area, the hips and low back tie in together so nicely. So if one of them is tight, you could be feeling it in the other spot. They often show pain or show tightness in both spots if they're both tight too. So take this time, repeat this stretch throughout the week, especially if you have a desk job, if you have a job where you drive a lot, or if you have a job where you sit a lot in general, definitely repeat this stretch. It's so important to have this entire area loosened up so we can function our very best in the workouts and in life, okay? Make sure you share this stretch with a friend who you know has a tight lower back or lower back pain. It can often be your hips or hip pain. It can often be your back, okay? So share this stretch with a friend just to help them out or a family member. And before you head out, you can like this video if you finished it with me and subscribe to the channel. I've got great workouts coming this week. And lastly, turn on that bell notification so I can shoot you an alert as soon as I post them. Thanks for being here, guys. Have an awesome week.